Tov. Boker Tov. I'm going to invite everybody to just take a moment to settle in and uh, find a place in your seat where you're feeling where you can be both relaxed and alert. Notice your posture. Notice the sensation of your feet being rooted into the, into the flooring below you. Notice gravity pulling you, your thighs into the chair. Notice if you're being supported by a back of a chair where those points of contact are with your back. Just paying attention to sensations of touch. And adding to that, opening your awareness to sensations of sound. Just hear whatever it is you may be hearing in your own homes, other parts of the other rooms in the house, something outside your window, perhaps the sounds of a computer whirring. Just allow sound to reach you. Touch, sound, and allow your attention to rest on the breath without losing connection to touch and sound. Allow the breath to be the anchor that brings you back out of stories, out of reverie, back to this moment, to the sensations of this moment. bringing an awareness of gratitude to this anger in this moment, to this breath, this nishima, this nishima that connects us to all nishamot, to all living beings, to all breathing beings. Shifting the attention to the breath primarily now Allow yourselves to be grateful for what is happening in this body with an in-breath. All of the sensations that accompany an in-breath. And an out-breath. Hello, hi, my God. Nishama shenatata bi tahorahi. This soul breath that you have implanted in me is pure. Hello, hi. Nishama Shinata Tabi Tehorahi Just breathing. Hello, hi. Nishama Shinata Tabi Tehorahi. Hello. 
Hello, hi, Nishama, Shena, Tata, Vite, Ho, Rahi. 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 Hello, hi, Nishama, Shena, Tata, the practice, of course, is to just breathe into the after effects, the penumbra of the chant, if you will. See what's changed in your body. See what's opened up just a little bit more. Breathe into places of tightness. You shall be holy, for I, Adonai, your God, am holy. You shall not insult the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall not render an unjust decision. Do not be partial to the poor, nor show deference to the rich. Judge your neighbor fairly. Do not stand idly by the blood of your neighbor. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. In the middle of page four. Accepting the obligation to fulfill my creator's mitzvah in the Torah. Love your neighbor as yourself. The middle of page four. Take a moment to look at some of the faces in the boxes. When we're sharing this uh, virtual space. Um, smile with them. Wish them well. Love them as you love yourself and welcome their love. Hareini mehkabel alai mitzvat haborei eahav talerei achamochalerei achamochab hareini mehkabel alai mitzvat Arini mehkabel alai mitzvat abore ve'ahav talerei hachamocha l'rei hachamocha. Just breathing. Breathing in love, 
love for the people in your life, love for yourself, love for the people with whom we're davening this morning. Breathing out love into the universe. In the middle of page seven, we should always revere God in private as in public, in our hearts, we should recognize truth and pursue it faithfully. On arising, one should declare, Ribon kola olamim, master of all worlds. Not upon your merit do we rely in our supplication, but upon your limitless love. What are we? What is our life? What is our piety? What is our righteousness? What is our attainment? Our power, our might, what can we say, Adonai, our God and God of our ancestors? Compared to you, all the powerful are nothing, the famous insignificant. The wise lack wisdom, the clever lack reason, our actions for all their profuseness are meaningless. The days of our lives, emptiness, human preeminence over beasts is an illusion when all is seen as futility. Aval, but we, however, are your people partners to your covenant, descendants of your beloved Abraham, to whom you made a pledge and not Moria? We are the heirs of Isaac, his son bound upon the altar. We are your firstborn people, the congregation of Isaac's son, Yaakov, whom you named Yisrael and Yishurun because of your love for him and your delight in us. Therefore, it is our duty to thank you and praise you, to glorify and sanctify your name. How goodly is our portion, how pleasant our lot, how beautiful our heritage. How blessed are we that twice each day, morning and evening, we are privileged to declare. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Turning to page 14, Psalm 30, a Psalm of David. Mizmor Shir Hanukkah Bayat Le David. Aramim Ha Adonai ki bibi tani belosi machto oivoli Adonai Elohai Shivati Elecha Fitifa Eni. Adonai, I cried out and you healed me, you saved me from the pit of death. Zamrul Adonai Chasti Dava Hodula Zeche Kotcho Sing. To Adonai, you faithful acclaim God's anglis ki rega be apo chaim so no for God's anger. Last but a moment, divine love is lifelong. Tears may linger for a night. Joy comes with the dawn. While at ease, I once thought nothing can shake my security. Favor me, and I am a mountain of strength. Hide your face, Adonai, and I am terrified. Elecha, Adonai, Ekra, Eladonai. Adonai <laughs> <laughs> Shema Adonai Vechoneni Adonai Hey Hey Ozerli. You transform my morning into dancing, my sackcloth into robes of joy, that I might sing your praise unceasingly, that I might thank you, Adonai, my God, forever. The Mourner's Kaddish on page 15. Those who are mourning or observing the yard site, please feel free to unmute yourselves for the Mourner's Kaddish. <clears throat> Yahishme, <laughs> 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 
，别吵吵吵吵，别吵嘞，别吵嘞，什么？苦的啥？别吵。Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Alleluia.Allelu
in the last verse we'll sing together Another good full breath in, feeling it in the body. Full breath out, which brings us to Psalm 150 on page 25, the Psalm, which is the one that the final Psalm of the book. And it brings us back to the breath as the, the source of all praise. Every breath is a praise. Kol nishama hallelujah. Every soul breath. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 <laughs> Hallelujah, 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 Te hallelujah, 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 Baruch Adonai Metzion Shochem Yerushalayim Aleluya Baruch Adonai Elohim Elohi Yisrael Ose Niflaot Abado Baruch Shem Kvodo Leolam Viemele Kvodo Et Kol Haaret Amen Turning to page 27 We're arriving at our Red Sea moment 
the moment when we sing as we do every morning, the song that our ancestors sang by the shores of the Red Sea, reminding us that this is not a one-time thing, that crossing from a place of constriction and freedom and of what was to a place of openness and of what will be is an opening, a crossing that is available to us in every moment. And so we strive, we try, we, we hope that maybe this will be a moment of insight, of crossing, of freeing ourselves from something that was holding us back to a new understanding of what was, of what is in this moment. Page 27. Az Yashir Moshe, Uvenehe Yisrael, Et Hashira Hazor Ladonai, Vahayom Rule Mor, Ashira Ladonai, Kigahoga, Suhus Perok Vaho, Rahama Vayam, Ozi, Vizing him Radia. Invite you to stay standing to return to page 30 for the blessings that lead us into the Shema, the blessing of God's unfolding and constant creation, the blessing of God's unfolding and loving revelation. We begin that series of blessings with a gesture. First, we begin by standing tall, our feet 
rooted into the ground beneath us, noticing how most of us are able to balance our weight so perfectly between our left legs and our right leg, a firm foundation for our trunk, our backbone gently curved yet holding our upper body up high, lifting the shoulders up and rounding them back, which allows the heart to open just a little bit more and the neck to lift a little bit higher as if being pulled upward by an invisible string. This is the position of Jacob's ladder about which the Torah says it was Mutzav Artsa planted in the earth and yet Rosho Magia Shamaima, its head was reaching heavenward. That is us. We are planted in the earth, in our body, in our earthiness, in our heads, reaching upward, yearning to touch something transcendent, the whole that holds all of us. And in this position of dignity and yearning, choosing to bow in a gesture of deep gratitude and acceptance of this moment. Baruchu et Adonai ha-mevorach. Baruch Adonai ha-mevorach li-olam ba-ed. Baruch et Adonai Elohim ha-olam. Yotzer orre choshech ose shalom uvore et ha-kohohohoh. Ha-me'u l'aretz eladirim alay barachamim muftu v'mechadesh b'chol yom tamid ma'seh v'reshit. Day after day, you renew creation. You fashioned them all. The earth abounds with your creations. Sovereign, uniquely exalted since earliest time, enthroned amidst praise and prominence since the world began. Eternal God, continue to love us with your abundant mercy. Our pillar of strength, protecting rock, sheltering shield, sustaining stronghold. El Baruch Gedol Deyayich Ine Vahal Zarech Hamar Tov Yatsar Kavod Lishmo Meorot Natan Sivot Uzo Pinot Zvaav Gedoshim Ramimei Shaddai Tami Vesapri Kvod El Uktushato Tibarach Adonai Elohim Uol Shebech Maasei Adecha Ve'ame Ore Or Shasita Yifaruch HaSela In the middle of this blessing of God's creation is an image of the angels declaring the greatness, the glory of God every day, moment to moment. And we, in the middle of this blessing, we, um, we are not angels, but we strive to have the purity of essence of angels who are all beloved, all good, all whole, <laughs> to capture that quality of, of wholeness. We sing together in the middle of page 31 where that little box is. Um, Ahuvim kulam berurim kulam kiborim kulam kedoshim all holy kulam ahuvim all love kulam berurim all clarity kulam Kiborim, all strength, all love, all clarity, all strength, all love, all clarity, kulam, kiborim, kulam, ahuvim, kulam, birurim, kulam, ahuvim, Kulam, Birurim, Kulam, Kiburim, Kulam, Kedoshim. Kulam, Kabim Alehem, Amukuchamayim, Zemize, and only we should sell a zella piece of Samra Hadrua. Kulam 
ומתם משבחים, יאמרים ברוך כבוד אדוני למקומו, לאל ברוך נימו תיתנו, למלך אחד וקיים זמירות, יאמרים ותשפחות ישביעו, כי לבדו פועל גבורות, עושה חדשות, בעל מלחמות, צורע צדקות, מצמיח ישועות, בורא רפואות, נורת עילות אדון הנפלאות, המחדש בטובו בכל יום תמיד מעשה וראשית, God in his goodness renews creation day after day, ואמרו לו עושה אורים גדולים כלילם חסדו, אור חדש על ציון תאיר, ונזכה כולנו מהרה לאורו, ברוך אתה אדוני, יוצא המאורות. The second blessing, the blessing of God's unfolding and loving revelation. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu, we are loved by an unending love. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu, we are loved by an unending love. Ahava Raba, Ahava Raba, Ahava grant us understanding and discernment. Ahava Raba, Ahava then will we teach you study your Torah and heed its words. Ahava Raba, Ahava lovingly fulfilling all of its teachings. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu, open our eyes to your Torah. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu, focus our thoughts so that we may love and reveal. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu, Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu. Ahava Raba, Ahav Tahanu. Bringing together the corners of our talit. Ehavihienu lishalom mearba kanfotares. Toholihienu komimihiut komimiut learzeni. Ki el poel yeshua data uvanu vacharta mikolam vilashon. The care of tanu lishim hagadol. Sela Sela Vyemet, that we may offer praise and lovingly proclaim that you are one. Baruch Atah Adonai, Habocher B'yemo Yisrael, V'yahava. People are continuing with the Shema and its paragraphs. I want to, David asked me to share with you, you know, a little more specific terms, um, my particular practice that I often apply to the three paragraphs of the Shema. The inspiration for this is the fact that I, in many synagogues, the first paragraph of the Shema is chanted together very lovingly, that paragraph that's all about God's love, and we feel that love. We sing it together in Torah Chow. Very often in congregations, we sing the third paragraph, which is the one that reminds us about tzitzit and about remembrance and the ability to be connected but we often just mumble through or ignore the middle paragraph. And I thought, you know, this is really a problem because the rabbis very carefully, very carefully, the very beginning of the rabbinic tradition, even earlier, chose these three paragraphs to be read together as the most important unit before the, before the Amidah was created, the Shema and its blessings was the most important unit, the first unit of Jewish prayer. So I want to share with you what I do to kind of rescue that middle paragraph. And I share, I'm gonna offer you the opportunity to, to, to do that practice with me together. So this is what I do. I sing all three paragraphs aloud, but I um, try to add some drama to them and to really understand this particular intention for each one. So the first paragraph, the via hafta, 
that's the paragraph, you know, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind. This is just the beautiful process that we go through that our prayers up until this point in the morning have opened us up to, to feel the presence of love, to feel God's presence in, uh, in the words of Torah that we receive and that we teach and we live to live, to know that we are not alone, that we are loved. The second paragraph is the one that's often ignored or we don't know what to do with it because it speaks about um, that, that what seems to be a very archaic and difficult to accept Deuteronomic um, uh, theology of reward and punishment. If you do this, God will open up the skies and, and things will grow. But if you don't do this, then everything will be terrible. And, and it's not our experience of the world. This is how I experience this. I experience a second blessing, not as a, you know, if you do this paragraph, but actually I experience it as a promise that this is actually what is going to happen in your life. What this um, uh, paragraph tells us is that even though God is giving us its vote, and there are moments when we feel connected and we know what the world needs from us, it will happen willy nilly that we will we will stray, we will get confused, we will forget our moorings, and then we will feel completely disconnected from God, and we will feel completely in exile. That's what the second paragraph promises is the truth. It is our nature, but it also then says that you will remember, and it is okay because you can always come back again to focus to know who you are, to know what your connection is. And then the third paragraph is kind of like a glorious response to the second paragraph because it's in the third paragraph where the Torah says, and not only do that, but you have rituals like these tzitzit, which will help you. There are rituals, there are patterns of behavior that will help you regain your moorings so that when you're going like this and you don't know what's going on in your life, you'll be able to center. You'll be able to come back and know better once again who you are. And that's a promise too. So I see that second paragraph is kind of like a promise of like, this is what's gonna happen to you because this is human nature, but it's not the whole story that when you're feeling exiled and alone and disconnected, the possibility for return, the possibility for return is always there. And it begins with these rituals. It begins with, with all of the rituals that help us to identify ourselves as who we are in this place, in this um, greater scheme of, of, of the world, but we begin by listening. So I invite you into the Shema to begin by listening. Just take a couple of deep breaths before we begin. And just hear whatever it is that you need to hear this morning, whatever it is that the universe is saying to you, allow it to enter your heart. Pleasant or unpleasant, happy, unhappy, it doesn't matter. Just allow it its space in your heart. Shema. Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Thank <laughs> Vishinantam levanecha, vidivarta bam, vishit de chaba de tacha, uvlachta chaba derech, ufshochacha, ukumecha, uchtab taham, amzizope tacha, uvisharecha, vehaya, 
Take care, lest you be tempted to stray and to worship false gods. For then Adonai's wrath will be directed against you. God will close the heavens and hold back the rain. The earth will not yield its produce. You will soon disappear from the good land which Adonai has given you. Therefore, impress these words of mine upon your heart. Bind them as a sign upon your hand and let them be as a reminder above your eyes. Teach them to your children. Repeat them at home, night and day. Inscribe them upon the doorposts of your homes and upon your gates. In your days and the days of your children on the land that Adonai swore to give to your ancestors will endure as the days of the heaven over the earth. Vayomer Adonai el Moshe l'amor daber el b'nei Yisrael v'amarta aleihem v'astu lehem tzitzit. Al kan tevi dehem l'dolotam v'nat nu al tzitzit. Amet. <laughs> Though you abide at the pinnacle of the universe, your just decrees extend to the ends of the earth. Happy the one who obeys you, the spell who takes to heart. The words of your Torah, you are in truth, a mentor to your people, the defender and mighty ruler. In truth, you are first and you are last. We have no sovereign or redeemer but you. You rescued us from Egypt, Adonai, our God, and you redeemed us from the house of bondage. Also, Shifu Avulim, the Roman Muel, the Danu Yididim Zmiro, Chiro, the Tishbachot, the Rachot, the Hodahot, the Melech El Chai, the Kayam, Ramini Sagadol, the Nova, Mashbil Gim. Baruch <laughs> 
God Israel. I invite you to stand and we'll dive in the Amidah individually beginning on page 36B. I invite you to use as a Kavanah this morning. Notice which, which words, which phrases are the ones that just touch your heart this moment. Just linger with them. Be with those phrases. See where they take you. And at the end of the Amidah, ask yourself, what am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? How do I respond to that gratitude? What does the world demand of me as a response to that gratitude? That's always the question. What am I grateful for? And what do I do? Page 36B.
Standing for a Mourners, please lead us in the Mourners Scottish on page 84. Amen. 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 Amen.